Dougie, when we spoke after the air match, obviously the emotions were still fresh and quite raw, but just looking back now, your thoughts on the game? Ah, yeah, listen, same same as back then, Gareth. A bit of disappointed, obviously, we, we scored four goals in the game and, and draw one each. Um, looking back at the, the highlights and the analysis, um, I, I, I don't see a foul in the first two goals. Um, yeah, they're right to chop off the third, it's offside, I get that, but the first two the keepers came in, it's just fresh air, try to catch the ball and he drops it, I don't think there's a foul on him, so from that aspect we're, we're bitterly disappointed because um, that would have been a massive three points for us, um, it probably would probably put us safe, um, but again just di disappointed that um, we don't get the decisions that we, we deserve. Against there, obviously, with a selection available, things changed a bit with the team, They're obviously giving too much away, can we expect to see things maybe back to how they have been recently? Yeah, yeah, but on, on, on the air game again, obviously we lost a, a poor goal. Um, again, we work on things during the week at training and, and you're asking players to just to do their job. Um, and as soon as they cross the white line, Gareth, it's sort of sent on to them. Um, and, and we can't um, be at fault for play individual errors from certain players. And again, it was evident in the Dunfermline game. And then again to, on, on Saturday against the air, but we, we we lose two poor goals from corners from just individual players not doing their job properly. Um, and obviously we've had a chat this week again, so like I say, hopefully that doesn't happen, but um, it can. And, but we're just dis disappointed to the way we lost the two goals in the last two games. But again, we've got a massive game tomorrow that we look forward to, to, to hopefully again go and, go and get three points, a good performance at home. Tomorrow's obviously going to be a tough game, but just your thoughts going into it? Yeah, listen, we've got players back, Big Oshin's now back with the squad he trained today, so good to have him back. Um, Brian McLean comes back into contention, I thought Brian would have been out for the rest of the season, but he's made a, a, a massive recovery, um, he's back in contention for the game tomorrow. Um, Jamie Brandon's back in as well, so listen, the, 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 it's good at the moment, there's competition for places, so like uh, as always since I've come in through the door, that everyone knows that there's always an opportunity to play, so yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow, um, and, and we'll go with selection tomorrow once I know um, once everyone's uh, fit and ready to go. Your first game was obviously in charge of Kelly. Unlucky to not win that night. You'd be hoping for much of the same reaction from that game tomorrow. Yeah, I th listen, I think um, obviously first half, Kilmarnock um, gave us a, a tough time um, down there. But I think as we grew into the game, especially second half, like you say, we could have won it. But I think overall a draw is a fair result. But listen, we're looking forward to it. I say, as I keep saying, we're home form. We've been fantastic since the turn of the year. And no one will like coming here. It'll be no different tomorrow with Kilmarnock. They'll know they're in a the game. Um, and if they're going to beat us, they'll need to, they'll need to beat us with um, a very good performance because we're definitely up for it and, and for us we're looking to get three points. You mentioned players coming back and players coming back into contention. It's always good to have a more available, isn't it, for selection? Yeah, definitely. And like I say, it's, it's probably some of our stronger players that are, are back in. Uh, Motion, since, I've, since he's come back, sorry from his injury, he's been different class. Um, delighted for him to go away with his country, get his first start and, and win 2-0 over in Sweden. So, delighted to have him back. Um, but listen, We've got a squad that we can now pick from um, who are all fighting for positions, so it's good getting into the last five games of the season.